someone from Gambia. I don't want to mention his name yet because he will do that. And this is the second time I'm actually having someone from the Gambia with me. Normally they say the Gambia, they don't say Gambia. So I just have to make that one clear. And I'm very, very happy to have him around. And then he happens to be a pharmacist. But before I tell you about today's, I mean, activity, I would feel like he has to introduce himself. So it's over to you. Okay. Um, what do I say? Good morning or good afternoon? <laughs> I don't know. Just go ahead. <laughs> Where, it depends on wherever you are in the world. Yeah, because a lot of people watch from uh, my video from every okay. in the world. Okay, greetings to everybody. My okay. name is Mohamed Ibrahim Jase, and I am from the Gambia. Mm -hmm. I'm also a pharmacy student in uh, the Faculty of Medicine and Pharmacy of Rabat, and I'm so glad to be here with yeah, yeah, yeah. my friend here to, okay. to do stuff with him. You okay. know. <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome. Well, okay. He happens to be in my school, definitely. One yeah. of the best schools in Morocco. Well, I don't have to do that. So today's activity is actually about the fact that he's a pharmacist, right? So people normally talk about the fact that we doctors, when we write I mean, medications for people to go and buy in the pharmacy, they find it difficult reading our hand what we write definitely so um i have some i mean medications written here on paper by my colleagues and then that means it's not only me because it, either way otherwise it will be very biased so he is just going to i mean pick them randomly five of them is actually ten and then he's going to try his possible best and mention to me the medicines that are written over there and definitely my people have told me about the medication they've written so i will know it myself so yeah, basically we are just going to start the video. But then there's one important thing you guys need to know. It's about the fact that you have to subscribe. I don't have to be keep. I don't have to keep saying this thing. It gets boring. Do the right thing. Exactly. Just do the right thing, right? They should do the right thing. Yeah, you so, guys have to subscribe. Yeah. Right? So like and comment. Yeah. You know, you know the the deal, right? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. There's one thing I normally ask people: How many likes do you think this video will get it? Uh. This video, it yeah. can get 1K. 1K. All right. You guys like the video, get it to 1K. So let's start with the video. Mm, basically, these are the papers we have. I don't have to explain it again. So you are just going to pick one of them. All right. Yeah. Let's let's see let's how see. it goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay. So you have to show it to me. Yeah, I know. I know the medication. Because this one, it happens that I wrote it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You wrote it. I wrote it. <laughs> 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 all right so this uh, yeah i think it's amep you think it's amep yeah oh. see so that was that's YouTube. right yeah you are right okay. that's, AMEP. <laughs> that's AMEP. that's good um i don't know if i should give you a point but i don't know if my this my producer will decide so pick the next one uh um, see let me see <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah i know i know i know the person who wrote it so i think it, yeah i know it myself <laughs> this is like zamoxine uh, i don't know <laughs> no i don't think it's zamoxine but this looks like zanoxin right i think it's zanoxin not zamoxin because this is an n and this is a Z on my It's N, okay. It's an N. But I, uh, I, I, I you wrote it. Zanosin. So it's Zanosin, right? Yeah, it's Zanosin. Zanosin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm picking for you. You should <laughs> pick yourself. So that's two so far. Oh, you know what? Let me just dash you money. Anytime you win, I give you handed handed gram. So yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> this one is what? Sedol. Sedol, yeah. 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 This one looks easy. No, come on. Let me just. <laughs> Before I lose all my money. <laughs> all right. Uh -huh. um. That's um Ventolin. I happen to tell you that Joshua is not moving the camera. Maybe he has forgotten. So this is Ventolin. Yeah, this is Ventolin. So yeah, that's correct. I think we have to go all the all the ten because it's getting easier. Yeah. So that means you can literally read whatever you write, yeah. right? You see. So that's not actually a problem. It's actually between the doctor and the pharmacist. Not your problem, the patients. Uh -huh. This one Kodolipram. is Yeah, Kodolipram. This one is used for treating pains. I mean. Good. Augmentum. Augmentum. Yeah, this one is for No, you see, <laughs> if you look at how I've written this by he's able to mention it. Yeah. Trust me. Okay. Okay, 
this one is going to face a problem. <laughs> All right. It looks like uh, set a sail. I wrote it, but it's not set a sail. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is like. Well, can I give you a clue? Okay. Okay, we say what you wanted to say. <laughs> Kotasi. You can say it's courtesy, but that's not how it's mentioned. Oh, what is this letter? Oh, uh, then that means I'm mentioning that thing <laughs> for you. <laughs> because when it happens that, I mean, the patient brings this into your pharmacy, you are not going to call me to ask me which word is that or which letter. Yes, I can. I can because you know, your, your, your details will be, will be there. there. So know, I'm right? going to call you yeah. and, and confirm. Okay, so this one is actually um, corticoid. I don't know if you've heard of it. Ah, it's corticoid. a corticoid. Yeah, for treating, I mean, uh, immune diseases, inflammations. It's a, it's very popular. Ceta, ceta, ceta mean? No, not ceta mean. Have you heard of contensive before? Huh? Contensive. Contensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. Maybe you call it contensive. Maybe I <laughs> didn't hear it well. There, so this is the last one, and then yeah, yeah, just going to go ahead and pick the last one. So for how many of you? <laughs> this is honest. I know. This one is what? Honest. What so this is for just one thing to do. Always, it's like uh, uh, it's used for treating cholesterol, like constipation. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So you see, that's not actually much of a problem for the pharmacist, obviously, because he was able to mention all the drugs <sighs> that was written. And trust me, the way these things are written, you you saw it yourself. I mean, when I put it on the screen, so it's definitely difficult for them to see but they still go ahead and know what you've written. So you guys, it's not really your problem. It's a problem of the pharmacist. And he said definitely that at the end of the day, if they can't see anything, they will give us a call for us to confirm. So exactly. it's not much of a problem. We wished that we would really write very well, trust me. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, uh, my advice to medical students and also doctors, <laughs> okay. it's like you have to be very careful when writing some of it. Because you know, mm -hmm. uh, in the pharmacy, you will have pharmacies there and then we also have employees mm -hmm. so most of the time if the pharmacy is occupied you have employees then they will be there to mm -hmm. to 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 give out the, prescri uh, the prescribed medications oh, yeah so it's important that your writing your writing becomes clear because mm -hmm. at the end of the day you are dealing with the lab of patients exactly. and then if they miss you know some of the medications sometimes some of them they they very close mm -hmm. their spelling are very close mm -hmm. so if you have if they happen to interpret in another way around and then give a wrong medication it mm -hmm. can lead to something else so mm -hmm. it's better to write, uh, to, to make sure your handwriting are good so that everybody can read it. You know, the better the better the, the prescription is, the, the better the handwriting is, the better the, you know, the, you work on the it. dispensation of medication. I is happen to represent this. some of the medical students. But, so for me, let me say my, for me, I think like, because we have a lot, we've written a lot and we are tired. And imagine we see a lot of patients in a day. That doesn't give us the ample, I mean, time to do all this kind of, I mean, write one by one. But I think it's a good behavior if you learn to write very well. Trust me, you write very well. From first year, you see the handwriting, yes. you realize that it's very <laughs> I know. Well. But as time goes on, things become very fast and then you have to, because if myself, I've written tons of books and then... My but you also, you, know, you also have to know that you, the best interest of the patient is what you are looking for. Exactly. So if you make mistake or you your handwriting become worse, then, you know... Uh, the the inter the pharmacies will be in the worker there in the pharmacy wouldn't be able to, to yeah. yeah they might give the wrong medication and, exactly said, yeah. but in all ways we, we also have the detail of the doctor so mm. sometimes we just call and then and try then to find yeah, find see out. what's really happening exactly. and then like you said you happen to know a little bit about the pathology yeah? so that means that when a patient comes maybe you can interrogate the patient a little bit to find out that okay you are having problem with your stomach okay this could be odes because that's what it's used for exactly yeah. exactly most of the time the 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 ordinance how do we call ordinance again the prescription, the prescription some, some, yeah same. sometimes the pathology will be there and then the medication oh, yeah. sometimes also the the pharmacist uh, is going to, like some of the pharmacy they already know the patients yeah. so if they like referring medication yeah. that won't be easy yeah. but if it is a new a patient that is coming mm. and then the writing is not good it, will, it might need uh, like the pharm it might need the pharmacy to call to the doctor and doctor. confirm Oh, just um, if he is very experienced, he will just uh, know the right medication. Oh, that oh, is good. Written. good from no one has caught me so far to ask. Oh, okay. yeah. So I think I'm writing very well. And it happened that you were able to read all my handwriting, and then that's <laughs> with my colleague. 
Exactly. So yeah, basically, we've come to the end of the video, and I know you guys have learned a lot from this video, and I really appreciate you coming. Trust me, um, I yeah, know you guys you. go through a lot, and then I mean, you're a busy person, so you still made it to this far, and I really appreciate it. And then definitely, you guys have to subscribe to the channel, yes. like the video, and then this has been. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. subscribe and then like and share. Yeah. You know, just to make sure like the 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 video gets to where we we want yeah. it to get. Gambia, we have to stop there. Yes. Yeah, you have to stop there. All right. Thank you. Thank you.